Remember Your First Kiss The other night, my daughter called me with excitement in her voice as she blurted out, You're not going to believe what happened at school today. What? I asked with interest, assuming that she was talking about the grade school where two young boys attend. Riley, my nine-year-old grandson, got himself a girlfriend, exclaimed my daughter. You're kidding, I said. No, I'm not. And I went to pick him up. That's all he and his teacher could talk about. I didn't even know Riley was interested in girls, I said. Well, as I understand it, said my daughter, the little girl in his class more or less made Riley her boyfriend, although he was apparently a very willing conquest. What did she do, I asked. She basically just started holding hands with him, although according to their teacher, somewhere along the line, Riley got kissed. Riley kissed a girl, I asked in amazement. Well, I think it was more her kissing him than him kissing her, but their lips definitely ended up together. Plus, according to Riley, there was apparently a kiss on the forehead involved, too. Now, one kiss seems pretty harmless, but if you're talking about two or more, then good heavens, that's getting pretty close to making out. Dad, I'm not ready for Riley to have a love life. That's pretty good that he was willing to talk to you about it, though, don't you think? Are you kidding, said my daughter? That's all he's been talking about ever since he got in the car. He says she's very cute and that he really likes having a girlfriend. He even said she is sweet as a strawberry. So what am I supposed to do? Isn't this stuff supposed to happen a few years down the road when puberty hits? Actually, I said, if I remember right, one of your teachers reported that you had kissed a boy in class when you were about Riley's age. So I don't think the world is going to come to an end. Maybe it's just in the Fisher genes. After I finished talking with my daughter, I suddenly found myself thinking back to my earliest adventures into romance and recalling that most of them took place at garage dances. When I was about 13, maybe it was even 12, my twin sister suggested to my parents that we have a garage dance. Since my mother was convinced that I was completely lacking in all the social graces, she decided that in addition to it being fun, for my sister, a garage dance would be a good way for me to start correcting the problem. Anyway, the idea caught on that before long, all of our friends from blocks around were hosting Saturday night dances in their colorfully decorated garages. They were very simple affairs, with parents for chaperones, cake to eat and punch to drink, and Ricky Nelson and Elvis Presley records for dancing. I pretty much had to be dragged and kicking screaming to them, but usually I had a really good time once I got there, with one very big exception. Usually the garage dances were attended by all the same local kids that I had grown up with, and the girls were more like sisters than potential girlfriends. But one Saturday night, at a garage dance just down the block from my house, a new girl suddenly showed up. Her family had apparently just moved in next door to my best friend, who was hosting the garage dance, and trying to be good neighbors, his mother had invited her to attend. Well, I took one look at her and started feeling lightheaded and strange all over. I had simply never seen such an exotic looking girl before, although that word wasn't even in my vocabulary yet. She had jet black hair, huge brown eyes, and I simply couldn't take my eyes off of her. Then she saw me looking at her and much to my amazement, smiled at me. When I got the courage to ask her to dance, I will never know. But there we were, suddenly, arm in arm, doing the West Sack two-step to a very slow song that I hoped would never, ever end. And before I did, just like Riley, I got kissed. It must have been the lipstick that she was wearing or the gum that she was chewing, but she tasted even better than she looked. And then, just when I thought I had died and gone to heaven, she started screaming. To make a very long story short, while I was in what can only be described as an otherworldly trance, my right hand had somehow got caught up in her bra strap. And struggle as I might to get it free, the more I tried to yank it out, the more entangled it became. Then, with my friends looking at me like it was a young version of Jack the Ripper, one of the girls with much more broad experience than I had, mercifully came to my rescue and finally freed my hand, but not without glaring at me hatefully first. Worst of all, 
My best friend strolled over and whispered into my ear, If I was you, Daryl, I would get out of here real fast. Because she has a huge big brother, or I think he's going to kill you when he hears about this. So, Riley, if you should read this, a few years down the road, when puberty hits with full force, just remember that although it's perfectly okay to kiss girls, just make sure that they don't have really mean-looking big brothers who simply won't believe that you can get your hand caught in their sister's bra entirely by accident.